That's me out. I'll be presenting my capstone today. Uh, basically, I'll be talking about uh, my capstone paper, community service, and ICAP. Um, my paper was basically explaining about uh, weightlifting, how can weightlifting impact athleticism. Um, typing and also researching more about my topics. A scientific fact that I learned was basically that weightlifting increases metabolism in the body, means that you will burn more calories overall when your body is resting. So for someone who doesn't work out, basically they can eat a whole bunch of fats, sugary fast foods, and still gain a lot of weight because they're not, their metabolism is pretty much low. But for someone who uh, weightlifts, their metabolism is like a lot higher, so they can eat a lot of junk food and still maintain a six pack. Uh, this research vitally helped me because pursuing a degree in athletic and training, basically exercise sciences and human performance, uh, really helps my knowledge with the exercises, benefits, movements, stretching. Uh, on my research paper, I spent a, a total of nine hours every time I worked on my research paper. Uh, Mr. Baker really helped me by keeping a, a log. I kept a log. Every time I was working on my research paper, I would take notes on my uh, experience, my next steps, and basically my reflection. Uh, my community ser service took places uh, in many places. Uh, all my community service experience really impacted me uh, vitally because it showed me that you didn't have to have money or it didn't require money to go help someone. You can do it straight out the heart, just out of love. Um, I remember uh, Inky Johnson has said, said in his speech, if you make sure others are right, uh, God will always make sure that you're right. I've learned from my volunteer experience at the skills camp at York. If any of you guys have uh, been to the skills camp at York, you know that uh, for four days you become a coach and basically help the kids with their athleticism. Basically uh, pursuing that degree in athletics, one day I hope to be a coach at Skyview or wherever God takes me and do strength and conditioning like uh, Mr. Stegg. I want to help kids improve their sports performance, no matter what their financial status is. If they don't have money, I'm still going to help them regardless because there's kids that do have money, but there's kids that don't have money that still have more potential with the kids that do have money. Uh, this will help me in the future because my coach taught me the understanding of it's bigger than you, Paul Behringer. Amen. Uh, my high school experience was not the regular high school experience that most kids had. Uh, most kids had the stick to one school or two schools maybe out of the high school. Uh, for me, if you guys don't know, I've been to four different high schools. Uh, my first high school started off my freshman year. Hylia Gardens was in Miami. I was only there for about two months. We had to move out. Went to Flanagan High School, another school in Miami. Uh, Flanagan honestly was the most roughest school I ever been to because like a lot of people don't know that in other schools you really have to watch your step like everywhere you go like it's different environments like here you could just walk around safely like if, like other schools you could just turn your back and then that's like four people on you saying let me get them shoes and there's nothing you could do about it uh, Denver East, honestly, it was another crucial school. A lot of gang banging, a lot of fighting. Uh, but honestly, I was just a person who just stayed out the mix because I was focusing on basketball coming into my sophomore year. So I didn't really care what others were doing. But then at that time, I was also getting in trouble, which means basically getting in trouble with the law, uh, getting caught smoking, doing a whole bunch of stuff that wasn't right for my future. I've learned that I wasn't going to have an easier road like other kids my freshman year. Around 8th grade, I already knew I wasn't going to have an easy road period. Uh, my transcript represented me halfly because my freshman and sophomore year, I really didn't do good like that. I mean, my freshman year, if most of y'all don't know, I really had a 1.0 GPA throughout. 
Uh, the SAT did not represent me. My SAT scores were a 770. Um, it, it did not represent me because I knew I was smarter than that. And for a lot of you juniors, I say that you guys should really take the SAT serious because SAT is really vital of getting into your colleges. Uh, nowadays, the SAT is, don't get me wrong, it's, it's still important, but a lot of colleges now are looking for your uh, personal statement and GPA. So if you guys join the NHS, join a lot of clubs because that will get you a lot of scholarships. Uh, my action plan is to attend a four-year university and receive a bachelor's degree in human performance. Oh, hold up, one more.